Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're starting a little mini series, I guess you could call it. We're going to be going back and just kind of reacting to some of the channels that kind of inspired me to start doing what I'm doing now. Uh, this is probably going to be anywhere from like a five to ten part series because there, there's roughly like I'd say like ten channels I can think of off the top of my head that between like elementary school and middle school really inspired me to really uh, I'm going to start like making YouTube videos of my own. And the first one we're going to be taking a look at, as you guys can see, is its old top five. It's the first one he actually ever made uh, by the Smith Plays, man. This, uh, he used to, he used to post zombies videos all the time, obviously, and lately he hasn't as much. He's done, like, some live streams and stuff. I've been keeping up with this channel, but he hasn't done as much in recent years as he used to. Uh, I remember I watched him the most, especially when he had this, like, Road to Black Ops 3 series, where he went through and played literally every single zombie map, and, like, I, I'm pretty sure it was, like, on a daily basis, he dropped just another part, another part. It was, it was awesome. I remember coming home from school in, like, fourth or fifth grade just watching that, man. Anyway, let, let's just get into it. What's going on, guys? It is Patrick here, and today I'm bringing you my Ice first cream. of what will oh probably God, be many that. episodes in my top five first of many series. yeah it was he today we're gonna be doing these. top five worst zombie maps of all time i wonder how Keep this in mind, is this is just the opinion of one person and if you don't like what i say you don't have to dislike uh, i also want to thank you to dislike. for giving me the idea as well as the go ahead now let's get into it guys starting in at number five we have the black ops 2 zombies map buried, buried. Now, this in and out of itself isn't really that bad a map. Yeah, it's I like not. Buried, I can play it, but they did a lot of things wrong. Okay, explain. It's so easy, and that's my biggest problem with Sometimes it. Sometimes that's yes, all you need, though. Innovative Ooh. things like Leroy, The Witch's House, The Maze, Vulture Aid, Raygun Mark II, a lot of nice things. But too many things in it just ruined it. I, I don't agree, LSAT, man. Sometimes you need that chill map. This is coming off the back end of Mob two, of the okay, Dead, okay, which getting high rounds on that map to this day is so hard. You get a free thousand points for drawing chalk on the wall. There's the bang. Unless you know the you very specific stair strategy perks. on Mob. You have five perks. You can pack a punch by round one if but you that's want, your choice. Okay? You know what I mean? Like one. The bank is your choice to use. You don't have to use it. Easy, you know? Oh, did you go down? Well, guess what? We have the time bumps. I mean, this goes for any map. Like, everybody heralds uh, or holds, like, Black Ops 3 in such high regards. But, I mean, you could use the same argument on those maps, you know what I mean? Be like, well, every map's too easy. Just pop a Perkaholic, pop a Wall Power, pop a whatever, and then go get to, like, round 1 million billion. But, I mean, that's your choice to play that way. But, I mean, like... I, I, I can still see where he's coming from though it like regardless even if you don't use the bank and if you don't do everything like it is a pretty easy map once you get set up and just sit by jug you know you it, can just go back the rounds time, go pick yourself back up and you'll be fine there little muffin oh do you not have a time bomb on you well guess little what muffin. just buy four perks by round four you'll get the tombstone perk and then and then you only lose one perk every time you go down because you know we don't want it to be too hard for you you Watching this setup, it does kind of make me see his argument, but like I said, like, a lot of zombies maps nowadays, well, your, uh, excluding, like, Cold War, like, Cold, from BO3 to BO4, they were very, fine, like, more you know? hardcore yeah, maps. It'll be great, you so, know? Like, do you not have any of that stuff? Are you too lazy to like that stuff? Nice. Well, hey, guess what? Go get a paralyzer. Go I still go back to this map, but I need a break. And uh, just you know, use your vulture aid. Just uh, you know, tap your tap your little paralyzer. And uh, hey, you know, get to around fifty, just like that. You don't even have to be able to be good at zombies. You can just sit there and uh, yeah, you know, you'll be fine there, little Buttercup. So, not a bad map in theory. But the execution went wrong. Okay, okay. Coming in at number four, we have the Black five? Ops 1 Zombies uh, map 5. Now, this, again, should have been a good map. At the time, this map. did only Such come cool out idea. right after Black Ops 2. So I guess there wouldn't be too many to come really out to fun, like, pull from. So I can see this being to like it. But on it's the list, a hard actually. map. And not hard in the way zombies should be, but just stupid hard. Like, yeah, stupid hard, yeah. like you're struggling for ammo on round four that's a problem because across all the of black ops like there's the just no ammo 5k that other really awful gun that has like no ammo in it yep. you're so struggling you know you finally the make it to the boss ass. you barely have enough money for it because you've been spending all your money on ammo and these horrible guns you know if you do make it over there with a decent gun now you're not gonna have jug to like round eight or so yeah, I never have joke on this map. Like yeah, well, probably because I never played this map in the first the place, MP5 honestly. I played whatever. a lot of Classified. I really like that one. But yeah, luck, thinking about it now, like, five, it's, have one it's, it's hard, but not in the fun the way. So I, I do agree with this one. Buried, I still I just, don't agree with, man. I, I feel I like know. if he was making that video nowadays, his opinion would be a lot different. That's going for everybody. A lot of people have given the entire map. That is Black Ops 2's Nuketown Zombies. 
I'm just going to come out right and say here that it really saddens me to put this map on the list. Yeah, it, it saddens so me too. It's so much fun, either four player or by yourself. Exactly. You're always on your toes. It's intense. It's great. Yes, it's it is really great. nice map that we all are familiar with. It's fun. It's very fun. But there is one fatal flaw that someone decided to put in, and that is random perk spawning. That's okay. Right. You don't okay. know if okay. you're going to jug it. on round five yeah. when you should or get jug on round 25 like you won't because if you're on round 25 and you don't have jug you're gonna die yeah sorry, i can that's see just that the way it is this is see, so much Numa, fun random perks ruined work because it just kind of depended on like which one you're gonna open first you know what i mean like which hut are you gonna open uh, first you're gonna get it if and you know it second, wasn't like round lock it, but to this it is or round else you lock, die. so i can kind of understand that's it you know you have to play this map multiple times to have a good round because you won't always get jug the first two tries and then you're dead and you're just like, fuck this map. Why did they do this? I love how he dies wow. at the end of like every point. Coming in at number two on our top five worst zombie map lists. I'm sorry, Adam. We, we have Shangri-La. Shangri-La, really? This is a really? bad map, okay? What's good with it? Uh, I don't know. The colors, yeah. the wonder weapon. Aesthetically, it pretty much beautiful. ends there. This is a bad map, let me remind you, okay? Yeah, the one it's thing I will say, there's like no good training spots on this map power, that I know of. It. You gotta do a full rep. I haven't full, played much uh, Shang. I only played it a you know, bit. It's not fun with more than one person. Out, but from what it's I played, like I got a few good round map, thirty, round forty okay. games in. But monkeys steal your perks. Yeah. There's this stupid sand trap that ninety five percent of the time you not die a map where if I'm thinking it. zombies, I'm you gonna flop. You thought it was a good idea to put an exploding zombie on one of the closest <laughs> yeah, that maps thing is so of all time. Annoying, oh, and that's the napalm and the streaker zombie, dude. All those are so annoying. I feel like grouping up and spawn. I have a fucking napalm. I don't know what they're What's called a streaker coming in. <laughs> and then I can't see it. It's so list. annoying. Treyarch not consumed paint thinner before making Black Ops 2 Zombie. <laughs> they hyped it as the biggest, most innovative oh map yet. God. I call Consuming. it, we waited one year for this shit. <laughs> Coming in at number one on our top five worst zombie maps of all time, we have Transit. Transit is by far the worst zombies map of all time. I'm not gonna say this little bus this. depot, and everything is just shitty. Shitty colors, shitty atmosphere, shitty characters, shitty everything. You're gonna get on this bus, okay? This bus is supposed to be the best time ever. Salvation. You're gonna get your jug, gonna get everything. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be your home. Well, guess what? Sorry, the only gun on here is a freaking B23R that isn't much good after round seven. So you better go to the diner and get a gun from the Looking mystery back, box. Looking back, I can Sorry see how this is objectively a bad map. Holy the bus shit. Is gonna leave, so you only got pretty much one roll at the box if you're with a team of four. All right, well then let's head on to the farm. What's here? Oh, nothing. Sorry, this is a waste of space. We didn't yeah, know that's what to right. put here, but we wanted to have a big map, so we just put it in here anyways. All right, well, let's go to the power center. All right, power center, we're here. You got a 50-50 shot of the bus not leaving on you and getting the power on if the bus does leave guess what you got to walk through the fog and you know what's in the fog denizens this motherfucker you're gonna break your <laughs> face until you bleed okay guess what now you are at the town you are ready to do this you got your jug you're awesome this place is your salvation you're here you're happy sorry, sorry we, we don't have any guns, guns. Yeah, it's the town, I know. You'd think we'd have a lot of guns, but no, we don't. Uh, we have Pack-A-Punch. You want a Pack-A-Punch? All right, bud. Here's what you got to do. Head back to the bus depot. Get a turbine. Now you're going to want to head back over to the power center. Turn it on. Put it by the door. And that may oh my God, turn on man. the power door to the Pack-A-Punch. But you, you only, only got, got a 50-50 shot, shot, so I mean, good <laughs> yep. luck. If that doesn't work, you're going to have to go do that all again with dealing with the denizens. So have a good time with all that. This it's is transit, transit motherfucker. motherfucker. <laughs> hey, guys, thank you so much for watching. Dude, that was such a nostalgia trip for me, man. I used to watch these videos all the freaking time, man. Like, all of his top fives and stuff. Every time he dropped one, I was always on it immediately watching it. Oh my god, dude, there's people, like, still commenting and stuff, like, only a year ago. Let me check real quick, what's he up to now? Like, is he posted, like, yeah, I, I watched that the other day. It doesn't say that I watched it, because right now I'm on my uh, YouTube account, but on my personal account, like, obviously I'm subscribed to him, and I've watched all this stuff already. Even, even the live streams, <laughs> anytime that I'm eating food, I just kind of, if he's posted something, I go in here and watch it. I flip-flop between, like... Uh, usually when I when I go to eat, I just like watching like gaming type stuff. Well, that's literally all I watch on YouTube. But it always bounces between like the Smith plays, Mr. T, Tim Hansen, or like if none none of the zombies YouTubers and guys have really posted anything, I'll either go look for a video game essay type content or I'll go watch like Marco Plyer. But man, th this was a great nostalgia trip. See, I, I I don't really do this reaction content type that often, so I'm not really that good at it. I don't know what I'm supposed to be saying, what I'm supposed to be doing, or whatever. 
Um, but this was a lot of fun for me, a lot of nostalgia. I love just going back and just watching old YouTube videos just kind of takes me back to the first time that I saw it. This video specifically, I remember uh, it was after school one day. I was on my iPod Touch 4th generation sitting on the couch in the living room. I had my Apple headphones in and they were the same headphones. Well, not the exact same, but like the same kind, uh, old Apple headphones. And yeah, I found his channel and I was watching these and I remember I used to binge them all the time. I'd watch this, Lagging 24X and uh, what was it, like Yodi Slay, You Always Win, like all those guys. Man, the... Those are some old days, man, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to make a little series out of this where we go through and kind of just react to some old videos from channels that inspired me and like specific videos where I remember that it was like one of the first videos uh, that I watched by that certain person. Some other people I want to look at in this little mini series are like Mr. T Lexify, Merc Music, Syndicate, uh, older Ali A videos because that was like a huge inspiration for me, Phase Jeff, stuff like that. Uh, probably like Scott is Minecraft. There's just some other stuff. Just kind of going back, reacting, reliving the nostalgia and having fun with that. So if you guys are looking forward to that, the best way to let me know is by liking, commenting, all that typical algorithm YouTube stuff. I upload literally every single day at 7 p.m. So hopefully I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Peace.